There we go. Let's see if I can make this work. Uh, I think that's as that's as easy as it's gonna get, or as level as it's gonna get, because just the spaces in boats aren't necessarily that wide. Here we go. Last time on Proteus Rising, we hit a pattern of drive, boat work, drive, drive, rinse, repeat. This time, we plan some time off to just stay at the boat and work on jobs while exploring Anacortes, Washington. Come on along as we work to sell the house, refit a boat, and go from land to sea and all around the world. And we are back at it, headed up to the boat, because the weather's nice, and we got port lights to re replace, and more engine work to do. What do you guys do on the engine? Uh, so I just need to, uh, hopefully uh, Rob, our mechanic, has finished the repairs to the transmission cover, which means the only thing I need to do is replace the PSS shaft seal, the dripless packing system, or whatever it's called, uh, and then put everything back together. Woohoo! Yeah. That's exciting. Yes. And then we need to go through our checklist to make sure everything is in place to put her back in the water so that on the 14th of April we can sail from Anacortes down to Seattle. Yes, the new moorage at Ballard Mill Marina. Ding, 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 ding. Yes, which is going to save us an entire day sail and we'll be way closer to everything we need to be closer to. Like services, services. and work yeah. and family. Here's to a good day work. Okay, my job today is to learn how to replace port lights. <clears throat> Thank you, YouTube, because I watched about a dozen videos on how to do it. And it doesn't look like it's gonna be all that difficult, a little bit time consuming, and eventually every port light is gonna be replaced. The great thing about it is that they will all have screens when we're done. Right now, the current portholes do not have screens and all of the silicone and everything else to insulate it is all starting to rot away and leak. And here, it's really hard to see because it's kind of dark because we have the tarp over the boat right now. But you can see this one's leaking right where it's sealing. I'm gonna head out and unscrew the outside and then I have to use sockets to undo this and then I have to get a putty knife and take it off and well, we'll probably time lapse this whole thing and speed it up really fast so you don't have to spend as much time watching me do it as it's gonna take me to do it. Uh, hold on a sec, babe. Can't hear you, sugar. Oh. Um. <laughs> That's smart. Um. Should I be undoing the stuff from the inside first? All the instructions said the outside, but all these screws are really, really tight. Well, no. So the thing is, the instructions that you were watching, uh -huh. that those people's trim panels just screw to the fiberglass. These portholes are through bolted. So this screw and this nut are the same piece. Oh, so we could have just done it from the inside. Yeah. Yeah. Well, that's, but I mean, from the outside here, so hold on one second. Mm -hmm. Boat yoga. <laughs> Hi. Hey, baby. <laughs> um, I'm being crazy. Hey, you gotta entertain yourself. <laughs> yeah, I know. I 
man who has six drills and he doesn't know where his drill is. <laughs> Five. No, I guess. You have six drills. <laughs> Plus your hand drill. Seven. <laughs> The DeWalt? Yeah, the big yellow one. Um, was it in the bucket? Did you bring the bucket up? I didn't bring the bucket up. It's pro I think it's in the bucket. It's not that I brought it separate. I'll go see. So should I go back inside? So do you have the right socket? Oh. Let's see. I measured this a second ago and now I've forgotten which one it was. I think it's this one. This one. Ugh. Sun, it's dark. I'm blind. <laughs> the wrong size. Sorry. I had it measured out, but I didn't pull it out. Why did you not just stick it on the wrench? Because I got distracted by the phone. Oh, okay. I was in the middle of doing that, and, you know, the land life. Oh, that's too small, too. Really? They look so small. Lefty Lucy. All right. There you go. Now make sure the wrench is on the loosening direction. So, let's see. It's, right now, if you turn it lefty Lucy and it goes click, that means it's in the tightening direction. And now it's in the loosening direction. Okay. So put it on a nut. Okay. On that one. Yep. You want me to just hold it? Yeah. Okay. these but go ahead and keep them for um, measurement. You don't think we can just clean them up? Well the problem is they're Phillips head. This is a giant bag but it's what I have so. They're Phillips head. No, I'd rather just buy them. Oh really? Yeah. Okay. Stainless. Yeah, we'll just buy it. Well because also these little nylon do that. Mm -hmm. They're really only good for one shot. Oh, really? And what their job is, is they hold tight even when there's not a lot of tension on them. Uh-huh. So, uh, because they have a little nylon insert. Right. They've been screwed on and then screwed off again. The nylon insert is all chewed up and it doesn't work right the oh. second time. Okay. Make sense? Yep. This will be like 20 bucks. Okay. Oh. I guess if I do this by myself... Ew. Oh. What? It just. Water? Ugh, yeah, it's gross. Okay. You got a rag? I got it. It's just. Gross. But this is, this is why Steve and Lizzie wanted to replace it. I yep. totally get it. And I'm happy that we didn't have to order them. <laughs> Thank you.
Do you want me to do this part? So you can do what you were going to do on the engine? I mean, that was the whole point. I was going to do this part. <laughs> I know what you're doing. I can see what you're doing. Trying to fix the tarp. It's probably one of the only things we're going to actually get done today. <laughs> Four hours plus of scraping sealant on one porthole and I still can't get it out. <laughs> Don't you dare say it. I know you're thinking it. Me? Yes. I'm not thinking anything. Uh-huh. Yeah. I don't think. Mm-hmm. One of my most endearing qualities. And the engine is not going to be ready to go this weekend, but we're getting closer. Yeah. One more part ordered. The boat life. Four hours on one poor light, and I still don't even have the old one out yet boat projects. That's the boat life. So, what are you thinking? Uh, well, uh, we are at the Drift in downtown Anacortes. The lovely menu, all kinds of good stuff. Um, kind of looking at the crab and steak because it sounds really good. <laughs> It's a little expensive, but... Um, not really, not for quality seafood, not at all. Yeah. The oysters on the half shell, it's 15 for oh, a half I didn't dozen. See that. Oh, yeah, we do, we're doing that. Flip it over. Yeah, no, we're doing that for sure, then. Great. Okay. Go ahead. Good? Mm hmm. Okay, so today's progress report. Um, Let's see. Uh, oh, I got the old PSS, the dripless packing thing off, and I got the measurement right. Pretty fancy digs for <laughs> work vacation. <laughs> Thanks for watching. Stay tuned next time as the juggling between sell the house and refit the boat continues. You can see what shenanigans we're up to in real time on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram. And another quick shout out to our Proteus Rising pack. You guys rock. Peaceful sunrises and sunsets.